Thursday, uh, the math department's gonna have a sort of uh, questions and answers uh, Q&A uh, with you guys, the eighth graders, on pretty much just anything you want. I mean, it could be, hey, uh, Mr. Mr. E, you know, what's your favorite food? We've never, we've never asked that. Or, hey, Mr. A, like, um, you know, where did you grow up? I, you know, isn't it like somewhere far off? So just asking questions about um, maybe the, the teachers that you know in the math department. Um, but also the main idea is that you can ask questions about um, high school, right? Because you guys are, are moving on. Um, you're gonna be ninth graders next year, freshmen. Um, and so, you know, obviously I've been to high school, the rest of the math department's been through high school. And so we've been there, you know, we know it's like, well, this is kind of different. It's exciting, but some people are scared of it. Um, so it'll be just a good time to ask any questions um, or uh, ask any advice on things uh, of what's, co what's to come and how to get involved in high school and how to make it an awesome experience. Um, because I know I, myself, I, I enjoyed high school um, for the most part. Um, you know, I enjoyed my classes for the most part. And, you know, personally, I ended up um, doing, you know, band and, and uh, track and soccer and things. So, um, but yeah, but I mean, other, I have other friends that I, that went through high school and they're like, well, I hated high school. It was, uh, so um, it's kind of what you make of it. But anyway, so that's going to be Thursday. Okay. Um, really looking forward to it. And hopefully you guys will too. Um, so that's going to be Thursday. And then today, um, like I said, I've got a couple activities. Um, one is going to be kind of an assignment um, to, uh, for Thursday. Okay. And um, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to share with you uh, my screen real quick. And then I'm going to uh, give you this file as well. Okay. Sharing. All right, so I'm gonna, um, in a moment, I'll, I'll share with you guys a file that looks just like this. Um, and we're gonna be making a math meme, okay? So I'm sure you, you all know what a, what a meme is and all the different variances, the coming and going of, of different trends. And Yes, good. I, yeah, I would be shocked if you did not know what a meme was. Um, so we're going to be making one. Um, and this is kind of a chance to get uh, creative. Um, so instructions, all right? We're going to model this out so you guys can have fun and know what to do. Um, so number one, it needs to be created from scratch. Um, if you, I don't know where my pointer is, there we go. Um, if you're just copying a meme off the internet, uh, it's already been made. Number one, um, you know, it won't, won't make the cut for the slideshow, but also it's just not any fun. I mean, they, they, you know, most of the math memes uh, we've seen and a lot of people have seen. So the whole point is just to have fun with it and, and get creative. Um, all right, so yeah, so the next uh, the next instruction using the next slide. Okay, you'll when you get your own copy, you'll use the next slide. Your job is to design a meme that is about our class. It can be about eighth grade math, um, and it needs to be about something that was said in our class uh, by myself or you guys, or something that is somehow related to what we've done. Uh, your meme must be a hundred percent appropriate. No bad language, slang, no bad pictures, etc. Um, it should be appropriate enough to share with your parents. <clears throat> so it just kind of gives you the idea, like, obviously keep it clean, no, you know, no language, 
um, even like, you know, starring things out, not, not what we're looking for. Um, most memes aren't, right? A lot of the, a lot of all of the classics and even uh, memes now, I mean, they're usually not like um, foul, so. All right, so just uh, keep it appropriate. And, and then uh, work independently so we can get as many fresh ideas as possible. You'll use the next slide to copy and paste your images from the internet. Um, and then you can um, put text over them, or you can use a meme generator. Uh, I've, I've actually used one before. Um, excuse me. There's a couple different websites, um, and they're really easy. Okay, you just get the get the photo, you put it on their website, and then they help put the text on it. Um, all right, and then on Thursday we'll share the the whole slideshow class on Google Classroom. Okay, and give credit to those that uh, that created theirs and. Yeah, and you know, we'll all get to laugh at them together and hopefully it'll be good, a good hoot, a good way to end the year. Um, and then also on Thursday, we will have the Q&A, right? With not just me, but the, the whole math department. All right, and um, you can email me with any questions if you have questions um, today or tomorrow. And I'm gonna go ahead and say you can do more than one. Uh, so, I mean, feel free to just do one, um, but if you're like, oh man, I've got another idea, I'm going to have this meme of, you know, something else we did, or, or, you know, another thing that I think of when I think junior high math, that my experience at Westlake. So, um, get creative, and at least have one, uh, that way we can have hopefully a bunch. And then if you have more than one, feel free to put them here, okay? On the third slide. All right, so um, questions on that. If you have questions, you can put them in the chat. Otherwise, I'm gonna share that document with you guys. So, oops. Right, so head to Google Classroom, guys. Um, and at the top is going to be this document. And I'm gonna select it to make a copy for each student. So it should already make a copy for you when you open it. There we go. All right, so feel free to open that up. That way you can, it'll make a copy for you. And um, we're gonna go ahead and take about, um, Let's see, maybe seven, um, seven to 10 minutes where you guys aren't, you don't feel rushed um, for kind of the class or me rushing you or anything. So we're gonna take about 10 minutes uh, or maybe just nine minutes. And I want you guys to play around a little bit, like look, uh, look up some funny math memes for some inspiration. Um, and I will, uh, I'll share one, uh, sh share, share a couple with you as well. And so basically we're just kind of brainstorming here. Okay. I just want to take a little bit, a little bit of time, um, doing that. And then once we finish that, then we will, um, we'll do our other activities for today. All right. So about nine minutes, um, kind of brainstorming and, and looking up some ideas.
Yeah, just a few more minutes, guys. Uh, finish up our nine minutes, and then we'll be moving on. Hopefully, you're finding some good images. I know there's some funny memes on online that I've seen in the past. Nice. Looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. So, and like I said, I, sky's the limit. So, I mean, I'm, I'll probably make one um, or a couple. So, if you guys um, think of any, like tonight, uh, today, or tomorrow, um, feel free. You know, if you want to make another one, and you have an idea. You know, share it with us so so we can laugh at it and um, and give it praise. Um, so. Right now, we're going to do um, two more things, okay? Um, one, and maybe, um, I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. There's, a, there's two things we're going to do. The first one um, is a, a little Kahoot. Um, but this one is just uh, like news of the week. So it kind of uh, deals with kind of weird things that have happened because of COVID-19 uh, and, and things like that. Um, so I think uh, let's play that together. I'll play along with you and um, might find some interesting things, some, some funny things. And then the last thing we'll do um, is I will give you guys a, uh oh, I think we lost Emmett. Um, I will give you guys the Q&A form for Thursday, okay? So it's just a place where you can put uh, your, your questions um, so the, teach, the math teachers can, um, get together and, and have some answers to help, I don't know, help you guys out and hope, hope uh, we can wish you on your way uh, in a good, good way. All right, so um, I'm gonna put the code here in the chat.
Here is the code. I don't know, hopefully his internet comes back. Sorry. All right, I tried to get that share, it didn't work. Okay. All right, so we log in there, uh, Edna, real quick, and I'll be doing the same. Good job. Sorry, I've almost got it. Let's see. Two. All right. All right, well, let's give it a go, and if uh, Emmett's connection comes back, then we'll hop in. <clears throat> All right, a new piece of artwork by Banksy has appeared in the UK. Where did it show up? The famous artist. <laughs> Oh, I pressed. Man. Okay. I was thinking it was sand on the beach. Nice. That's a good guess, London bus. I probably wouldn't be on the beach, I guess, because some of those were closed. So that was a good, a good guess. Nice. Let's see what else, what, what else is going on in the world. Power from renewable sources has exceeded coal-fired power in the United States for 40 straight days. True or false? Hmm. Nice. I was going to say that's probably true. I feel like we don't use coal a bunch anymore. We use gasoline and things, but. <laughs> the fear of catching COVID-19 has led to a huge increase in sales of which type of trans. So I guess trying to stay away from other cars and, and be out in the fresh air, maybe we'll start using bikes more often. That's true. I went into Walmart the other day and there was like no bikes in the bike section. There was like two bikes. So super crazy. Astronomers have captured some of the sharpest ever images of Jupiter. Which telescope snapped them? Hmm. 
Oh, it's probably with the same thing. William Herschel sounds like that'd be right. Gemini North. All right. <clears throat> the picture was captured in infrared by the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii. To achieve the resolution, scientists use a technique called lucky imaging, which scrubs out the blurring effect of looking through Earth's turbulent atmosphere. Interesting. Okay, and I've actually been, I've actually been to here. Um, there's a few observatories at the highest point in Hawaii, and they go there because there's less um, pollution and, and clouds, and it's quite a tall mountain. It's like close to Colorado. It's like 13,000 feet or something. So very cold up there. What has been helping to enforce social distancing rules at a park in Singapore? Holograms video games. Hmm. No, I put holograms too. It was a robotic dog. Weird. You might have to look that up. That's pretty funny. Hmm. Robotic dog. All right. Blink websites selling masks and fake cures have been taken down since a new reporting service was released in the UK. How many websites? Mm, masks and fake cures. Oh, nice. Well, not nice, I guess. Nice that you got it correct. 300. Nice. I was thinking 175. But that's a lot. 300. Nicely done. A botched burglary attempt at a pizza restaurant in Texas led to free meals being given away to anyone in need. True or false? Nice, true. I could see that happening. I'm realizing that people need some, some more food. It's good. Which pop star recently announced that her long awaited album Chroma Chromatica will be released on the 29th of May? All right, it's Lady Gaga. I haven't listened to a bunch of her stuff, just know the cla the real famous ones, but apparently some of her more low-key songs are pretty good too. Um, pioneering rock and roll singer Little Richard sadly passed away last week. Which songs did he sing? So it can be more than one. Right, so tutti frutti, all right. Little Richard sang that, and he sang Lucille, and um, quite a few others. I was trying to think. There's another really famous one he sings. Um, an 11 year old skateboarder has become the first person to land a 1080 degree turn on a vertical ramp. Wow, true or false? Oh, it is true. That's crazy. I this has not ever been done. So I was very impressed. That's very impressive. All right. And last one. Which airport has started offering COVID-19 tests for departing and arriving passengers? London, Paris, Vienna, or Amsterdam? Oh, Vienna. Wow. I was thinking 
either like London's been opening some stuff, so I thought maybe London or Amsterdam. Nice, this is in Austria. All right. Nice job. That was just a, a fun thing there. And I thought it'd be a nice, nice way to have some fun, fun engagement. Um, thanks, Edna. Thanks for playing along. And so now the last thing is I'm going to share um, with you this um, Google form for the, the Q&A Thursday. Okay, so do that. I'll explain a little bit, and then we'll be done for today. So, All right, so I'm going to put the link in the chat here, as well as on Google Classroom. Here's the link. And I'm going to share my screen one more time. All right. So um, Q&A for the math department. Uh, please write any questions you have for any teacher in the math department below. Your questions will be kept anonymous. So of course that means we won't know who it's coming from um, and we won't say who, um, who's asking the question. So if you have, you know, you don't have to worry about any fears or repercussions. You can just ask uh, your questions. And um, you can ask the whole math department, right? Any of these teachers, um, or me specifically, or all of the teachers um, to get a lot of input. So that's what it says here. This next one, um, who do you want to answer your questions? Any teacher, all the teachers, specific teacher. Um, and you could, you could put that in the, in the text here too. Like you could say, for Mr. Armantrout, you know, how long have you been teaching? Or where did you grow up? Or, hey, Mr. Moore, how did you get to be such a pop star? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so anyway, so we had a few here, you know, what questions, oops. What questions do you have about going into high school? Okay, what questions do you have about changing schools? Like just changing schools in general? Um, and then open-ended, so like, what questions do you have about your teachers? Again, like kind of saying, uh, asking teachers about them, and then anything else you wanna ask, um, uh, and just in general, so just open question there, okay? And you can put several questions in these or one question in these. Um, obviously, you, you'll wanna hopefully at least put one, I think maybe it doesn't require it, but um, one or zero or more than that on these. Okay, and then once you once you do that, you'll press send, um, and then we'll use those Thursday anonymously to have a discussion and um, kind of have a sending away party for you guys, um, and letting you guys know that we'll miss you and that we wish you the best, um, and all that. Okay, so um, I'll leave you with this last meme that our math department uh, head created. Mr. Mr. Schaefer. So here's a little example. If you're watching um, this now, Edna, or others, if you're watching this later. Uh, so he made this when Westlake makes you type math, but then you realize you're hanging with the cool kids. Um, this was when we did our kind of Backstreet Boys tribute. Um, anyway, so that's just an example, of course, what a meme looks like and something that uh, could be math related or to our class, so.